So this is the Mega. Um, this is my first unboxing of it, so it's my first time seeing everything in here. I read it all whenever I ordered it, but I wasn't exactly sure of everything that was in there, just the you know, general things. And the main reason I got it was for the, the Mega, obviously, on the front. We got a nice box though. So this is what you see when you first open it up, the CD case and, I mean the CD on top with the guy or the, the map of what each part is. what it looks like and then the next part is me taking it apart okay yeah here we go mm -hmm. the cd yes okay so the first thing we see on the top is the resistors uh i think i bought those before i mean i didn't buy them but they were in another pack that i had this is a mega as you've seen on the front case of it. Um, a lot of pins a lot of a lot more storage um this probably would be really good for my uh voice assistant project that's probably i mean that's the main thing i'm going to use it for so yeah you can add a lot of modules to it and here's the expansion board which also helps you add uh, other modules to it you just put that on top of it and it makes it a lot easier it's more for soldering um, for more permanent uh, projects and this here is an RFID tag thing. I'm not sure what the car is for. I'm sure, I mean, I think it works just like an RFID thing, the um, the thing, but I'm not sure. But yeah, you basically scan it with a little fob there. And this is a touch pad. I guess you can use for like codes and stuff, you know, like for a safe or something like that. This here is a power supply. Really good for stuff that you want to leave plugged in, I guess. Or use, you know, the plug as a power supply for it. Instead of the USB. A fan and a motor. Pretty common in these kind of packs. Another servo motor. Those are pretty common too and a stepper motor with the stepper motor drive that I pointed to just now. That one, that one there. And this is a distance or ultrasonic sensor. It measures the distance. Like it can tell you how close an object is to it and stuff. Used for robots. Oh, and the pin's bent on the bottom of it. So I just, I'm about to bend it back into place. It's very, very uh, good quality, so it wouldn't just you know snap off. That is the remote that is used to connect to the RFID module, and this is a bunch of capacitors and LEDs, RGB lights, and stuff. There's a relay in there. I'm sure I'll point to it at some point. Let's see. That's a, a, the digit uh, thingy. I forgot what it was called, the specific name, but it just displays a digit. And then there's the four digit one. It's a little bit smaller. And 
and I'm about to show this. Now, I forgot what that thing is, but there is a potentiometer, and these things, I also forgot what they were. Now, I want to say those other things in there, I think there's a, there's a photo sensor somewhere in there. Um, there, but it's just a bunch of different things in there, mostly for more complicated uh, wiring. Oh, and the box is like you can customize the box shape, the inside box shape, with the little s slabs or whatever. This is something that I also forgot what it was. I, and I remember looking it up too. Oh, look. Um, it was on there somewhere. My eyes weren't fast enough to catch it. But it does something. I promise. This is... Oh, that's a, a motion sensor. So, yeah, it does exactly what the name says. That is a water sensor that also does what the name says. This is a gas sensor, so it can detect gas. Yep. And then this is like a, um, a little display, I guess. I want to say it's eight by eight. Um, light display so you can do like you know little pixel art and stuff pretty cool this right here is a time module or a clock module I don't remember the specific name but it keeps the time basically is what it does That will definitely be used with my uh, voice assistant to be able to read the time to me. That is a moisture sensor, I believe. So you put it in like plants to be able to tell, um, I guess, how moisturized the soil is. And then that's the driver for it, I believe. With two, I think that's female to female connectors. LCD display so it can display like sentences and stuff. I think like three lines of sentences that connects the uh, the mega to your computer and then it gives us a bunch of female to male connectors which will be very useful and a bunch of male to male um, of various lengths that is the battery that you can connect to it and it can run off of uh, I can't remember the size it's a specific size of battery there's the breadboard and there's me fixing the box back again even though the left side's broken still or not broken but like out of place okay so these will definitely be used with my voice assistant um, the top part that I just pointed to is a temperature and humidity sensor and that is the um, infrared sensor, which is what you use the remote for. So you press the button and it picks up um, the button you press from the remote. Here we have a sound sensor and, uh, and a rotary encoder. I'm not really sure what the rotary encoder does, but I know what the sound sensor, like some good uses for it, like um, clap activated projects and stuff like that. So that's that's pretty useful. A joystick module uh, for controlling like robots, making your own controller. And finally, the battery. Overall,
overall this was a really good like a really nice uh, starter box I guess for people who want to you know get into electronics and making your own robots and cool stuff like that I uh, definitely recommend it uh, I'll have a link to it in the description and all that stuff this is me packing it back in like I said it didn't fit exactly so I just squeezed it closed uh, there you have it the mega 2560 project Rex Quillis kit thing most complete kit make science fun kit made in China kit Bye.